everybody and welcome to another tutorial tip and trick from Cantina Creative. Today we're going to be going over corner pinning, uh, especially from Mocha for After Effects. Right here I have some footage and this is what we're going to be tracking. I'm going to try and put the Cantina Creative logo on this wall right over here. So if we just come into Mocha, I actually already have this track set up for us. You can see we've got our wall tracked, we've got our corner pin right here and our tracking data. Now there's a couple of different ways I can go about this. I can either export my After Effects transform data, bring it into After Effects, and then make a manual corner pin. I made this by myself. I corner pinned it the way that I wanted to. I made it look the way I wanted on the wall. And then I copied my position, rotation, and scale data from Mocha into this null, and I pick whipped it to here so that it tracks alongside. And as you can see, it's all right for the beginning. It comes with it. However, as we get closer and closer, and our perspective starts to switch, it completely breaks. And that's because we're not working with a simple shot, we're actually moving in 3D space and our object is changing perspective, and our icon is gonna need to change perspective in the same way in order to maintain its validity in the scene. Now I could go in and I could come into my manual corner pin and I could set a bunch of keyframes and say, okay, that's where I want it, and if I move it over here, and maybe I want it to look like this, and then I could kind of nudge it around here and there just to make it look the way I want, but that's a ton of work. And instead of doing that, I could just come into Mocha, and I could copy my After Effects corner pin data right to my clipboard, and I could come into my corner pin comp, and I could copy all the information right there, which is what I did. And now if we watch it, it's a much better track, still a little shaky, not my best work but it doesn't break as we get closer to it. Now there's two different types of corner pinning that come with After Effects. There's the regular corner pin, and there's also an effect called the power pin. Now the power pin works in a way similar to the corner pin, except it gives you a couple of other options. It gives you this really nice bounding box right here. You've got your vanishing point, and you can see exactly what area your object is taking up, and you can see exactly where it's supposed to be going. So as I scrub through this, you Everything is staying the way that I want it to. It's looking pretty good. And if there's any tweaks that I need to make at all, I can just grab this bounding box line and I can drag it out. And yeah, I'm gonna have to do that for every single one of my keyframes and there are a ton of them. And that might end up being an issue. I really don't wanna copy and do that for every single one, so I'm not going to. Instead, I'm gonna come up here to my expansion and I can expand left, I can expand right, and I can do whatever I want. And this will apply to everything. So I don't have to go through every single one of my keyframes, I can just do it right here, and it stays steady throughout the entire shot, which is really nice. There is another corner pin plugin that you can use from Red Giant, the RG corner pin. You have to buy that plugin, so I'm not really gonna go over it too much here, but it does something very similar to the CC power pin, plus a ton of extras. Now I know that the transform data option didn't work for this shot, but for a shot that's more nodal, like this one I have here, the transform data should work fine. So what I've done is I've gone back into Mocha and I've tracked this shot here, and my goal is to put the Cantina logo right here on the wall. So I exported my tracking data, I copied my After Effects transform, and I pasted it into this null here, there they all are, and I added my logo and I parented my logo to that null, and here it is in the back. And with just the tracking data, it stays on just the way that I need it to. So depending on the shot you're using, the type of data that you export from Mocha and bring into After Effects can be changed. And there's definitely pros and cons to each one of them. For example, this one here that exports my tracking data gives me the ability to change however I want this logo without having to deal with a million keyframes to change myself. I can do it once and it's done for good. If I would have exported corner pin data from Mocha and there was a small issue, I might have to go back into Mocha, retrack, re-export, and bring it back in. So if you can do it this way, this is definitely a good option. But if you're working in Z space like you are here, definitely go with the corner pin and maybe think about using the CC power pin just so you can keep your perspective grids and get the most out of the plugins you're using. So that's been another tip and trick from Cantina. Hope you find it useful.